All right, let's move on. Okay, speed pan. Oh, frame creator, this is pretty cool. So it's in the special edits, and it took me a while to really get it. So um, hopefully I can get through this without having to <laughs> undo, undo. So the first thing, and there's probably other ways to do it, but here's how I did it. I'm going to go into the expert mode first, okay? And let me go in here. Now I am using pieces from Karen's kit. It's called Heart Song, and she does have it available. Um, so what I did was I did a really easy, quick frame. Let me just open this up and show you my layers, because I'm not going to redo it. But what I did was I um, put in a couple of her embellishments, really simple, at the bottom. And you guys can get as crazy as you want to with this. And then I did, um, this layer here is just a standard, like, border. So I went ahead and put that in there. Once you're done making that, you can create a frame out of that and um, then use it over and over again. So basically, what I'm going to do is I save it as a JPEG. So I go File, Save As. This is a TIFF right now because it has all the layers. I pick JPEG from my list of dropdowns. I flatten. It's going to be flattened. So here is the actual final right here. And then so you pick JPEG from the dropdowns. You click on Save. I always go high quality. I clicked on OK. So then you take that JPEG. I'm just going to open that JPEG. So go File and Open. I open up that flattened version. That's my JPEG. No layers over here. Then I click on Guided. And here's where that frame creator is. It opens this up. Now, you have to, it's, it's step by step. So I'm going to take, it says, select a tool to make selection. For mine, for this one, the quick selection is probably going to be the best tool. But you have to decide for yourself on which tool is going to be the best. Then it says to go ahead and drag across the area that your frame artwork is going to lay. Okay, so wait here, let me read it perfectly. Drag across the area of your frame artwork where you would like photos to be inserted. So see the little marching ants all around there? I clicked and dragged, and it went ahead and selected that. Then you say create frame. Okay, now save frame. I'm going to call this, let's just call this um, new frame. Okay, click on OK, saving the frame, continue in expert mode, and it says click here to add photo or drag photo here. You click on that, and then you go get your photo, and that will go ahead and put it inside of that uh, framed area. Now here's the cool part. Inside of your, because it's mostly you're in layers, but if you click on graphics down here, now you see that you have other frames, you have show all, and then you also have my frames. So it'll go inside of that area in here and pull that photo inside of there. So I thought that was pretty cool. It takes a few more steps than normal, but it's a cool way to make your own frames. If you're going to use them over and over again, then they're also inside of there. So it says click here to add, click there, go get your photo. Let me see if I have, shoot, I don't think I have, hold on, let me just put a photo in there. I'm going to put that one in there. Place that in there, and then it's in there, okay? So pretty cool things with frames.